Good day to you all, Greenbeak here and welcome to Weatherby. This is a brand new series here on my channel. Uh, quite different from one I have from before, but uh, it's not something I've never done before. If you've been here for quite a while then uh, you might remember I had something very, very similar uh, about a year ago, where I um, basically tried to make a realistic UK city and um, yeah I, it was a project I was working on for maybe around a few months then I stopped and then I sort of started on YouTube again a few months ago and to be honest I really really missed this part of the game detailing and creating something that you can see in real life this series we are trying to recreate a British city inspired by Brighton and other English cities down by the coast. Today I'm working on basically the motorways and I'll show you a picture right about now, or soon enough I hope, uh, just to show the reference I was using, here are the pictures. Uh, this is, if you're familiar if you live near Brighton, then this is the intersection uh, or interchange, I should probably say, uh, between the A27, I do believe, and the A23 uh, from the north side, on north side of Brighton, as you're driving up north towards maybe London or Gatwick, the airport. Um, yeah, a bit about the project. Um, it's called Weatherby, it's not, uh, so during this project I tried to uh, incorporate Google Earth as much as possible really, just to get some inspiration and just to understand how these uh, UK cities are built. I'm not British and I've only been in England uh, once. I'm going soon, I'm actually going to Brighton this summer, so I'm really very much looking forward to that. Um, but as I said, don't really know too much about how how they build their infrastructure and so what. So I've been using Google Maps quite a lot uh, these last couple of weeks as I've been building uh, this, uh, this map. Um, and what I've really found out that uh, they really love to use is roundabouts near intersections. So as you see here, as you're coming off the motorway, you're going straight into a huge roundabout, which I'm sort of struggling with uh, creating. It's a lot of use of the move with mod, um, just because how this roundabout is formed. Because in the game, roundabouts are pretty easy to make if you only decide to have uh, like four different connections. However, this one I think has like eight connections to the circle itself, the roundabout. Um, and always that makes the circle look a bit strange and not completely circular. So using mods, I think I mentioned make it look pretty decent. I uh, will of course detail it a bit later, but uh, it looks it looks uh, pretty fine, and uh, from a distance, it looks pretty much uh, not identical, but pretty close to the original one uh, from the picture I showed uh, just earlier. Now, a bit about what uh, this series will be, um, or what kind of series this is. You know, as I said, we are, and as the title also says. We are trying to create a realistic European city in City Skylines and not just European but more focused on um, a British city and uh, it's very much inspired by uh, Springwood by 2020 uh, not in the way that you know the city itself but how how the series is, it's uh, I won't spend too long detailing certain areas of the map 
you know some areas I will of course detail like uh, like sort of a central station or like a city center or like a harbor or something but I won't spend hours upon hours detailing a small area of the map personally that's not something I actually enjoy I would rather create a bigger city that actually works and uh, that's something I want to try to do in this uh, series as well yet still um, realistic but also functional in this game uh, which is a bit tricky because you can't have both but you can have almost both you know you have to compromise a bit so uh, that's what we do and uh, you know this um, these motorways, motorways that surround the city you know as I said don't really care too much about them in the way of detailing uh, you'll see uh, in the tie of this episode that I don't spend too much detailing it's uh, very much uh, just basically trying to make it look good from above because we won't spend too much time you know at the at these intersections however it's always nice to look at them uh, from a distance and uh, you know consider watching this entire episode because I got some very nice cinematics at the end um, and you know people are using them and uh, it was really cool to see all these cars driving through this uh, through this intersection inter intersection so yeah stay tuned for that coming pretty soon now I have uh, pre-recorded uh, uh, three episodes I think and uh, you also the trailer that you saw in the beginning or not really a trailer but the but the intro uh, showcased uh, parts of this series that hasn't been built yet uh, of course because this is basically the first thing that I built on this map so I have uh, three episodes already basically ready to go there um, I think I only need to do commentary on them and then I'll then they'll be done um, I won't upload them straight away I'll wait a bit for them uh, because if I, I I can as I've said upload you know today and next one tomorrow and then the next one after that however then it possibly might be one or two weeks till the next one comes and uh, I don't really want to wait that long you know I uh, I want to have at least one uh, episode of this series uh, per week and um, if that's not enough then uh, there will be definitely uh, weekly uploads and maybe even more on this channel because I do have another series going on uh, let's play series so uh, consider uh, taking a look at that it's uh, of course very different from this one um, since we don't try to make a realistic city but it's a city focused on more uh, organic city building uh, we don't uh, I don't think it's used a single grid yet so it's uh, pretty different so consider checking that out the link is in the description and I also think that there will be an info card coming up right about now hopefully hopefully I've remembered to put one up if not then always check the description so this is uh, one of uh, the um, gas stations uh, that you saw in the picture that I showed from Google Earth uh, previous in the episode uh, in real life it's actually on the other side of the road but uh, I sort of went with this side I can't really remember why but I think it actually fitted fits a bit better this way and uh, I used a uh, an asset from the workshop, uh, British Petrol, which is also actually the asset uh, or the gas station that is there in real life. So uh, just a fine little detail that. And also uh, a restaurant, which is actually, I do believe, vanilla. It's from the it's vanilla asset that I plopped in. And I think it says something like seafood restaurant or something. So, uh... Yeah, I looked at it and actually 
I actually thought that would fit and I hopefully I was right and uh, now I'm just planting trees however I don't quite uh, enjoy how this looks and you see me actually removing some of them now because I felt that was a bit too good to be true uh, that was so many uh, trees all over and you know I wasn't feeling quite good you know because this is a very heavily trafficked area a lot of cars all the time basically so I would expect the vegetation to be not so lush you know it's not a rainforest or something so I went ahead and placed down these uh, these are yes oil textures and the theme is uh, Euro 4k theme or the Euro 4k map theme by uh, Pedelmo and uh, gave a pretty nice look and it gave this look that it was how should I say maybe like used it, it, it looks real to me so I uh, really uh, enjoyed the look and this and uh, definitely gonna use that texture more in the city as we progress and uh, what really is frustrating is you probably can see this but uh, on this roundabout this sort of like very gray parts wherever uh, two different kind of roads intersect you see right here very gray part very like darker part than anywhere else and try to try to change about I uh, couldn't find a solution so I uh, I just hope that it actually could work and in the end I do believe it, yeah, it doesn't look the best but you know, could look a, a lot worse and adding these lines uh, added a bit more detail and actually made it look a bit better a bit more uh, realistic as well so uh, all in all very happy with how this uh, turned out now we are nearing the end of uh, this episode uh, thank you so much if you actually sat through and saw the entire thing I do know that my commentary is not the best um, you know, however I always try to improve and uh, hey if you are from the UK or maybe even better if you're from Brighton then please uh, let me know in the comment section down below how I can improve and how I can make this city as much as realistic as possible if you did enjoy this episode consider leaving a like if you want more then of course subscribe and maybe even hit that bell icon so that you get notified the next time I upload. Until then, have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.